Hi, I'm Beale Jones. I bought this net zero home because I believe in less of a carbon footprint. So, this is my house. This is, um, well, I'm a printmaker, so this is a print of mine. This house, you know, fit my sense of design. I'm a contemporary artist. I saw the big Net, Net Hope sign out front, um, and I thought, well, that's intriguing. I wonder what the Net Hope means. And I love the open beams. See the, see the windows up there? I didn't know what a Net Zero home was before. There was an open house, and I walked in. I saw the kitchen and all the windows, and I fell in love immediately. I fell in love with the light, how bright it is. It's just me. You know, it just feels like me the minute I saw it. It's just like a regular house, except it has a lot of benefits. I go in like everyone else. I make my coffee in the kitchen, and it's bright. I have the morning sun coming through the kitchen windows. Make breakfast, turn on some music, and then I go work in my office at the computer. I don't even think about this house as being different. It's, it's just a, it's a beautiful home. It just happens to be net zero. The temperature in the house remains constant because it's airtight. The walls are nine inches thick. It has a circulating pump, so it circulates the air. It doesn't make me feel claustrophobic. I open the windows on, you know, all the time and bring fresh air in, so I don't always have that circulating pump on. I have a heater and air conditioner. There's only one, and that supplies heat to all, all, the, all the rooms in the house. But I don't really use it much unless it's really cold or really hot. When I first moved in, there, I have an induction oven, and I wasn't sure what that was. Check it out and it's gonna boil water like that. An induction oven has to have a steel bottom on the pan. So the one sacrifice I made was I had to give away my, my pots and pans, um, but it's an awesome, awesome. It heats up so fast. And now the water's hot. Isn't that cool? Isn't that fast? There's no sacrifice of, about having a home like this. I haven't given up anything. There's only pluses. My average monthly energy bill is $13. My energy box is here. I can read how much energy that I'm generating right here on this window. This is my water heater. It's very efficient. It's Energy Star, and it has a readout. You can adjust the temperature. You can even turn this off when you're gone. With the savings that I gain with having a net zero home, I have more money to travel. Uh, I can pay my other bills. This house was not any more expensive. The cost is comparable to all the other homes in the neighborhood. When you buy a net zero home, you get a credit on your taxes that you can use for four years. So I got a huge tax break. It was significant and it helped out a lot. I was worried at first. I was curious about how I would um, how it would be relying on solar. I was wondering if I was gonna run out, and that's not the case. I generate so much energy from the solar panels, even on a cloudy day, that I actually have more energy than I need, and the power company uses what I don't, so I always have a credit. I would recommend a zero energy home to anybody, everybody. It's, it's comfortable, it's just like any other home, and it's important to our environment. I couldn't be more comfortable. I've never been so happy in a home. I've never been so happy in a home.